the Super Eagles of Nigeria, that friendly uh, game against Mali, still getting all of us talking. We seem to have forgotten what happened in the Jalov battle, but people just want to really get to know what went wrong with the team against the Eagles of Mali. And we've been listening to post-match analysis, but tonight on the show, we're going to engage Super Eagles interim manager, uh, Finity George, on the show tonight. The English Premier League is back. And what a way to return. Super Sunday, when Manchester City will host Arsenal at the Etihad Stadium. We cannot wait for that one. And of course, the CAF Confederation Cup. Can Rivers United sing another redemption song? Can they go for 90 minutes against the North African team and give Nigerians reasons to you know, celebrate in the CAF Confederation Cup? These are many more we'll talk about on the show tonight, Yemi. Oh, nah, that's the outlook of the show, like we said. And, and I mean, let's, let, let's even start it off, since we're going to be starting uh, with the Super Eagles, and hopefully uh, the coach will come through uh, for us. Um, a lot of questions have been raised, and I, I do agree with you. The focus has been on the lost game, not the one that was won. Uh, maybe because, I mean, like you've said a couple of times, the fans have gotten their heart broken so many times, and so <laughs> sometimes... They look away from the positives quickly. Yeah, I mean, and you know, with football, particularly uh, with the Super Eagles, that when you win, the fans just expect you to keep winning. And I said it that now, with the way they gave us that fantastic run uh, to the final of the Afcon in Cote d'Ivoire, and they, you know, they were quite unfortunate, you know, in the final game against the host. Fans would just expect them to keep winning because we know the state of our football just before the AFCON. Coach Finity George is in Lagos with you, you me? But he's getting some rest. Couldn't make it to the studio, but hey, he's gonna be joining us eventually on the show tonight. Finity George, interim coach of the Super Eagles of Nigeria, and also head coach Emba Football Club of Aba. Good evening, welcome to Sports Tonight. Good evening, Austin. Good evening. That's some, good evening. awesome, good, good to see you, good to see you. I must say, I admire you a lot because of your calm, and that's when you actually read what's going on. So let me start by saying congratulations for the run at the AFCON. I was a big fan of the team at the AFCON, not when you guys were getting ready for it. So this that's a good way to get into the conversation. What sort of experience was it for Team Nigeria at the AFCON in Cote d'Ivoire? Um, actually, nothing was expected of that team. Uh, we all knew um, no confidence from Nigerians on the team. But um, on getting to Cote d'Ivoire, I think um, after the second game, um, there was kind of interest in the team, and uh, the team kept winning. You know, But I must tell you, before the tournament, nobody believed in that team. You know, So uh, that's football for you. We know the pressure. Um, in Nigeria when it comes to Super Eagles. So we all accept it, and then you just have to do your job and make sure the team, the team is doing well. So that's uh, the most important thing. That's right. We did the job, uh, got to the final. We're fortunate not to have won against the host. But for the judge, where were, what were the important lessons that you got out of that tournament in Cote d'Ivoire? Um, important lessons, I would say, the team played to, to we played to our strengths. Um, I would say, yeah, we were quite unlucky on that, on that final day. But um, I think um, we, we can build on that team, you know, we can build on that team. Maybe one or two changes. Um, I think the team would be ready to go. So um, it's all positive vibration. Uh, I think before the tournament, nobody believed in the team. But after the tournament, I think the players did so well that um, you can't just write them off uh, for not winning the AFCOM. Uh, if you look at the AFCOM, I think we play to our own strength and um, it worked out well for us. I agree. I totally agree with you. I'll soon be handing you over to my colleague in Lagos. Uh, that's where you are. But let's talk about the two friendly matches. Now you're in charge. 
I have said it over and over on this show that I admire you and the tactics you deploy on the field. Uh, tell us about that game against Ghana. What did it for you and the team? Um, I think the intensity, um, we talked about intensity uh, to press high up, try to win the ball as quick as possible. I know it's not going to be possible all the time to win the ball, but Nigeria is a team that um, I feared. Uh, most teams fear Nigeria, and um, if you you sit back and wait for them to build that confidence, I think um, sometimes it could it could hurt us. You know. So I, what made it possible for us? I think we pressed high, and the first few minutes we got one or two chances. We didn't take them. I think um, that really helped the team build and that confidence in, in, in going forward in that game against Ghana. Sure. Thanks for joining us uh, once again, Yemi from Lagos here. Uh, let, let me just throw this at you. I mean, you, you talked about uh, the quality in the team. You talked about strengths. Um, I know we're analysts. Uh, we're journalists. We ask questions. But there are people who would say uh, that the style at the Nations Cup wasn't really suited uh, to the Super Eagles with the kind of players that we had. We didn't get the best uh, from uh, some of them. So uh, the question really is, if you are the Elm, would you want to do something different? Or the style that got us to the final of the Nations Cup is okay and uh, we should continue with that approach? Um, looking at the squad, you can't really change much. I think... Um... We just have to keep believing um, that they can do it. For me, I think um, we have to bring back the intensity in our play uh, when we lose the ball. You know? So I think that is, no matter what system you play, if the intensity is not there, you struggle. So I feel we have to get back to where we have to bring back that intensity uh, when we don't have the ball. You know? So uh, for me, um, I don't like to sit back. I like to play up. Uh, but that, that, that means everybody has to be up and doing, everybody has to work hard to make sure whenever we don't have the ball, we, we try as quick as possible to win back the ball, you know. All right, let's talk, let's talk club football. I, I know, I mean, the conversations will be mostly around the Super Eagles, but let's talk club football. And by the way, let me ask you, how, how has it been uh, juggling boats, uh, having uh, to manage a club on the domestic scene, and, of course, your job uh, as the Super Eagles, um, at, 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 in charge of the Super Eagles, uh, how does that work? And, of course, uh, your aspirations with AIMBA for this season? Um, I think it's been, it's been okay. It's been fantastic when you have uh, a good, a very good uh, backroom staff. Uh, my assistant is doing a fantastic job. Um, yeah, he's not trying to change anything. Whenever I'm not around, he sticks to the program, and then the team is the team is is, is moving on properly. You know, um, yeah, that gives me um, that peace of mind. Whenever I'm in, whenever I'm joining the Super Eagles, so he's doing a good job while I'm away, and um, yeah, I have to do what I have to do when I'm with the Super Eagles. So that combination is. Um, it's a good one. If Aimba is not doing well, then I will have concerns. You know, but uh, at the moment, we're in a good place, and then uh, we are looking forward to defending the champion, the title, rather. I see. Uh, coach, tell me, I, I, I don't envy you. How challenging is it being in the mix of the Super Eagles and also coaching a top team such as Aimba? Uh, this is my this is my third season with Inba, so I understand uh, the terrain, I understand what is expected of um, the team, and at the moment uh, we are taught, taught on the table. Um, yeah, still there um, to fight for the league. You know, so I'm happy on one part, on the other part also. Uh, um, Super Eagles joining the Super Eagles, I think um, we did well at the last um, Afcon. And um, I'm happy. I'm happy with the team, you know. So 
all around has been positive um, um, energy um, in Aimba and um, Supaibo. So I'm quite happy. It's, it's been a wonderful, um, I would say, three years in my third mm -hmm. year in Nigeria. So it's been fantastic. Coach, I remember when we had that conversation and I said, if we want to see the change, we must be part of the change. And then you're back in Nigeria, three years <laughs> already. Thank you for coming back. Uh, with what you've seen in the last three years, uh, are we making progress with league football in Nigeria? Yeah, I, yeah, I can say that. Uh, there's a lot of, a lot of um, progress being made already. But uh, for us to get to that um, level where we all are used to, I uh, would say we, we use the Premiership as our <laughs> as our that is our focus. Um, mm. We still have to do a few few things to let us, I think, investment-wise and um, let investors come in and pump some money in in, in the league. Yeah. Um, apart from that, I think um, officiating has been good. It's been going on well. Um, you, you can never have it 100%, um, but um, from what I've seen, I think um, referees are doing a good job as well. So we must commend them and encourage them as well so that um, we we'll get to that promised land where we need it to be. That's right. Good place to land if I let you go. Let's, let's say you get the Super Eagles job on a permanent basis. A major debate on the football streets is that people feel the MPFA players are not good enough to make the Super Eagles team. Now, if you need a judge, you're in the middle. You've tested the Super Eagles as coach. You're still managing the team. You manage a top team as aim, but why don't we get players from the MPFL in the Super Eagles? Um, it's all about scouting, all about watching a lot of games and um, see the potentials of a uh, few players that that can make it, you know. Uh, we included these this two friendly matches that um, we played. We included uh, a player, uh, Tanimu, Benjamin Tanimu, who just left uh, Bend Insurance for a Tanzanian club, you know. He's a player that has been doing so well, you know, and um, he had that opportunity to be in the Super League. But um, we had to bring him in, and he did well against Ghana. So we just hope uh, he keeps doing well and then, um, you know, we keep inviting him, you know, to perform. So um, it's, it's like I said, it's all about scouting, watching the games, um, seeing the players that are, are ready um, to be added to that sport. We'll see. But the followers of the leagues, I should tell you that he invites more MPFF players. Philly the judge, <laughs> thank you so, so much for your time on the show tonight. All the best. I can't appreciate you enough. Whenever I call you, you jump at it. Thank you so much. And all the best with your career. Yeah. That's uh, it. Thank so, you. Thank you. Yeah.